Hi guys. So today's video is actually going to be my April favorites. Um, yeah. So um, it's just going to be a couple things that I found myself uh, gravitating towards all throughout the month of April. So first I'm going to start off with uh, some hair products that I use. Um, you guys don't know but I'm actually uh, transitioning which um, basically means I'm trying to grow out the relaxed ends of my hair to be chemical free. So um, some of the things that have helped me along this journey, it's only been six months, but um, uh, basically this stuff right here, which is the Herbal Essence Long Term Relationship Split End Protector, um, I use this as a moisturizer like every day. I buy these things like in bulk. So I have like six bottles of them. So they don't look like this anymore. The new bottles actually um, look like this. Because I know it was a hard time finding them for a long time. Um, but then I realized that they just changed the bottle look. So this is how the new bottle looks right now. Um, then also this organic root stimulator hair oils. Um, I use that to seal basically so that's pretty much what I use on my hair um, pretty much on a daily base and then um, if I need heavier moisture or if I'm trying to uh, get my hair up, up in a ponytail because it's all over the place then I use the olive oil and mango butter moisturizer here by Elastic QP so those are some products that I really like for my hair um, so I am on a hair journey I am transitioning uh, which is why my hair is up a lot of times do throughout the throughout my videos. So if you guys want to see more videos about that, just let me know. I'm um, definitely not an expert at all when it comes to hair care. Um, just definitely just trying to change. And I'm gonna move on to face care. Um, basically, um, I had been looking for a long time and trying different like exfoliators. Cause base, uh, if you watched my last haul, you know that I used the Clinique system. Um, the three-step system for my face, but I was trying to find like a face scrub that I really like to use to exfoliate Especially since I really started wearing makeup. So I actually went to the body shop and I got this uh, The seaweed pore cleansing face exfoliator and it's actually for uh, combination and oily skin, which is what I have and This stuff it's really amazing. It has um jojoba beads and olive stone in it so it's not like super abrasive <laughs> moving right along um is the dramatically different moisturizing gel by clinique which is the last step in the three step system the moisturizer and um i had actually been using the wrong moisturizer i don't know what happened i've been using the clinique system since I was probably like 12 my parents bought it so I always just bought the same thing <laughs> over and over again when I was out so then I actually stopped for a consultation and found out that I was using the wrong lotion I was using the one that was for a uh, combination to dry skin which is why my skin was so oily I couldn't understand it so I've been using this one for about a month now and it has made the world of difference in terms of shine for the month of April I had been looking I had been traveling back and forth um, just staying at different hotels and stuff because of all the different birthdays and everything that was happening happening in April so I was trying to look for a way to transport my cosmetics the best way and so I was like what should I do was um the Urban Decay I think this was the 15th anniversary makeup bag and it is huge um I mean it's huge so it looks like this on the outside and it's if you liked my last haul and you noticed that I'm obsessed with the color purple, so this was this is great. Nice and purple. And um the inside sorry, it's full of stuff, but the inside is huge by the way. Like it has different compartments. So you can put I guess like your brushes here. Um so I really like this. This has been my go to and my savior for uh, all the traveling that I had been doing back and forth in the last couple of months. Um, then moving like, along, I'm going to go to... So next I'm going to go um, to my, like, my actual beauty products. And I'm going to start with the palette that I've been going to constantly, which is this Smashbox palette. Um, 
just for my everyday makeup like simple neutral eye I use this palette and it's called it's the limitless beauty palette and I got this from Ulta let me see yeah so I got this from Ulta probably about a year ago I think it came in this little package and it came with um, this palette right here with these five colors in it. So I tried to swatch them for you. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Of the colors in the palette. Next thing that I've been loving, well also to go along with the Smashbox, is this Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush. I have this, I love this brush. It really packs on the color for you. Um, just what you need. So I've been reaching for this brush, this eyeshadow brush, the most often. Um, pretty much in all my tutorials. That's around the eyes. I'll continue it. So the eyeliner that I've been reaching for this month is the Urban Decay <laughs> Zero Eye Eye Pencil. As you can see, it's really little. So <laughs> I've been using it a lot lately, and um, it's just it's really creamy, nice everyday black. So. I really like that one. Then for the mascara that I've been going for is this Too Faced Too Faced Lashgasm like that. And this is how the brush looks. Nothing fancy, but in terms of lengthening this is like my go-to mascara. It makes my eyelashes so long. It's not even funny. So I really love this one. And it actually came in the set with um, this right here, which is another one of my favorites this month, which is the Too Faced Poolside Primping. It's the Sun Bunny, the Sun Bunny Bronzing Powder. And this is how it looks. And I just got into um, contouring and highlighting and things of that nature. And I went out and bought Max Blunt. But I, it never fails. Every time I use Blunt, I always think it's such a harsh line that I leave. I have to get better at blending out. But this right here, this is such a subtle, you know, bronze that I don't really have that problem with. And then this is a, I just actually started using the other side as a highlight. I used to use um, the NARS Illuminating. Um, illuminating like liquid um, cream so I just started using that one and I really like that as well to highlight so one that I've been reaching for a lot which is like a nudie color is um, Max Ravishing and it's a cream sheen it looks like that and I'll swatch it for you guys And it's like a corally, like a corally peachy nude there. And I really like how that looks um, with the makeup looks that I've been using this month. And then also as a brighter color, a brighter pop, I actually just got this color. It's the Berry Oat um, by Revlon. It's a cream color, 660. And it looks like so. This was just featured in one of my last hauls so you guys probably have seen this already and then but I will swatch it for you one more time. So this is the one that I was most excited about. Um, so I've been using it in probably about I've been used it probably about four or five okay, days. A couple more favorites that I have um, are nail polishes actually. Um, my MAC Play Day yeah, play day. I have been reaching for this. Like, I've done my nails probably three or four times this color. I, I really love this color. Um, I just retired it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wear it anymore. Um, I'm going to give it a break. But I really like this. Like I said, I was trying to get away from this coral and this pink. So I actually picked up this color in one of my latest hauls, which is uh, called Innocent by Sinful Colors. And this 
was surprisingly sorry guys so this surprisingly was one of my favorite colors as well I had it on um, last week so you've probably seen it in a couple of videos from uh, a couple weeks ago or so this green color right here and I really love this as well and then while we're on the subject of nails I just recently been I used to use I used to use Seche Vita um, for my top coat, which I really love the gloss that it gave me and how it settled. But it gets really thick, and I know that there's like a thinner or something you can buy to like thin it back out or whatever. Because what happens is once the once the air gets let into the bottle, it like thickens out. Like the why don't you why don't I just get something that doesn't do that? So I'm trying, uh, I've been trying the Essie Good To Go, which is their top coat, uh, fast drying top coat. And as you can see, I've had it for about two months now, and it's still, it doesn't get, it doesn't get thick or anything. So I really like this, um, and it does dry your nose. I actually did my nose today, and it dried my nose really quickly. So I Okay, so also for this month for jewelry, um... There's only been one piece that I'm kind of like super obsessed with that I have to have, and it's this bracelet um, that I got from I think I got it from Topshop, and I got it from Topshop around the holidays. And I think it's really cute because like it can look like two different bracelets. I put it on for you guys. So on one side it could be like you could wear it this side out one time or you can wear it with the crystal out also and then also with my ELS ball I'm always using this I just bought one from fragrance Ocho, wise. my all-time favorite fragrance and it's been pretty much back with me on this is the Juicy Couture uh, well the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture and I just love this so much I love the bottle it has a little bowl there so I love that stuff and I'm really bad at describing well, things for like an everyday fragrance or um, if I don't want to be like too heavy I've been finding myself reaching for this one called pink chiffon and it's by Bath and Body Works and it smells so great so if you guys have tried this and I don't know. Let's see. I'll tell you what it, what it says on here since I'm really bad at notes. But it says it's an ultra feminine blend of sparkling red pear, vanilla orchid, and whipped chiffon musk. Inspired by the effortless grace and beauty of a master ballerina. It's so light yet it, it's just amazing. You have to go and Last try it. favorite. I'm going to actually do my purse because um, I'm really into purses. I really like to buy purses. And so I actually got this purse that I'm about to show you last year for my birthday. But uh, it's been my new favorite so far. And it's this like spring green, like Michael Kors bag. Um, like I said, I got it as a present, uh, I think last year. Yeah, I got it as a present last year and I've been really loving it. it it's like, it has the handles here. You can use like this, or you can use the cross strap there. And I like because it has. All yeah, so that's about it. So you guys have a great day. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment, and talk to you later. Bye.